Hello everyone, what is going on? Raven here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Lake Mead once again. And the reason why I bring this up is I talked about it once before. But there's more to the story. So we all remember that originally there's a, a set of human remains found at Lake Mead because the water level is actually lowering. It's actually like drying up. Well, now there are three separate human remains that were found on top of all the other things that were found like old sunken ships and things of that nature. So the first body was found on May 1st. It was found in a barrel was likely to be a murder victim who died from a gunshot wound sometime in the 70s or 80s based on clothing and footwear the victim was found with. The second set of remains was found on May 7th. And it was determined that, you know, as of right now, there are no, you know, updates as to that one in particular. The receding waters also have exposed previously sunken boats, like World War II era, landing craft last month, which I think is very cool that we actually get to see that. You know, sunken boats from World War II. Who would have thought we would have seen those, you know? 40 million people in the West rely on water from the Colorado River and its two largest reservoirs, Lake Mead and Lake Powell. Levels have fallen at an alarmingly rate over the past few years throughout, you know, a mega drought, which some people say is climate change. If you don't believe in climate change, you know, that's your thoughts. But something's obviously going on. As of Tuesday... This is based on the website, so I'm not sure how recent this was. Lake Mead's water level is at 1,040 feet. That's about 174 feet below its level from the year 2000, when it was last considered full. It's the lowest level on record since it was filled in the 1930s. The lake's low water level exposed one of the reservoir's original water intake valves in April for the first time. The valve has been in service since 1971, but it can no longer draw water. The agency responsible for managing water resources for 2.2 million people, you know, the agency that is trying to... It also does include Las Vegas. The lake has drained dramatically over the last 15 years, says the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Homicide Lieutenant Ray Spencer. It's likely that we will find additional bodies that have been dumped in Lake Mead as the water level drops more. So, according to the lieutenant from Las Vegas Police Department, he is expecting to find even more bodies in the three. Now, is there a chance that some of these bodies may end up being because of, you know, World War II? That would be something. That would be... I think that'd be a twist. You know, to, because we're finding boats from World War II. Why wouldn't we find the skeletal remains of some of these individuals from that as well? Let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section down below. How many more bodies do you think we're going to find in this Lake Mead as it the water slowly rescinds? Do you think they're going to be able to figure out and try to fix it and get more water back into Lake Mead, or do you think it's going to totally dry out? Let me know what your thoughts on this video in the comment section down below, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!